Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. Oh my god, Chanel are in so much trouble. I don't know why I'm laughing. This is not funny. I want to give a shout out to uh, my cousin. She actually is the one who told me about this story last week. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is wild. I just didn't have time to film the video of like, come back from work. <laughs> I've been thinking about this story today. So basically a bunch of employees at Chanel in Harrods in London threw a secret incognito Christmas party that they were absolutely not allowed to do by UK lockdown rules. They threw the party at Harrods, okay? It's popping, the party's lit. Ah, excuse me, Harrods shut it down, okay? It was shut down and Harrods grasped them up to the top dogs at Chanel in Paris. So Chanel released a statement saying, we are investigating. I, I'm living for Chanel's PR statements. They're always so cold and so bland. So they're investigating. Apparently the manager of Chanel at Harrods was sending texts. They had like a secret WhatsApp group, like don't take pics guys, we're gonna get in trouble. We don't want Harrods to know. And guess what? 15 people who are at the party got the plague, okay? This is actually really serious. Like they took a risk. They threw this party in December. They shouldn't have done it. They know they were wrong. They absolutely shouldn't have done it. No one was wearing a mask. Okay. For those of you who are not from the UK, based on what I've been reading, they're like different tiers. Um, according to the mirror, the tier that Knightsbridge where Harrods is, is part of is tier three. And apparently you're not supposed to meet up with people who aren't in your support bubble and who, yeah, you're not supposed to meet up with people who aren't in your support bubble. Your people who you work with, your colleagues are not in your support bubble guys. So you should not be meeting up with them. Chanel are in trouble. Okay? And it seems that there's going, definitely going to be some disciplinary action that's going to be given at Chanel in Harrods. The article goes on and cites a source and that source says that they feel like Chanel is really, really hard on the team in Harrods. They feel like they're being forced to work extremely hard and it's not fair for them because they're working so terribly hard and everyone's grinding out to do telephone orders. So, so those of you who know, if you're in the UK, if you call Chanel and Harrods, they're going to pick up and they will basically ship out whatever you want to buy to you. So the person was saying that they felt like Chanel should allow the people to work from home. And then they kind of brought up this topic about like, are luxury bags essential? This reminds me of a comment from one of you. You were so kind to comment and you gave me an idea about, you know, is luxury shopping essential? Are luxury bags essential? So I was like, oh my God, this is such a perfect opportunity to discuss this. And I'm sorry, but like, I think, I think Chanel are known for being a tough place to work. If you read the Glassdoor reviews for Chanel, the company itself, not even the stores, like the company itself, it's said to be a tough place out there. It's not a place for people who, you know, are wallflowers. And if you're a wilting rose, uh, they're gonna be some cactuses there like, excuse me, I'm here and I'm gonna, you know, hurt you. So I was reading this article and I was just like, oh my gosh, like are luxury bags essential? Is it necessary to get the caramel uh, Chanel 19 bag? Well, this is my opinion. You guys should absolutely tell me your opinion. I personally think Chanel are well within their rights to keep the Harrods um, store open only for processing telephone orders. It's a business. Businesses exist to make money and specifically to make a profit. The profit pays employees and shareholders. That's it. That's the only job of a business is to generate revenue, profits, and to distribute those profits to shareholders and to pay staff and vendors, that's it. So a Chanel wrong, no Chanel are not wrong, but I do think Chanel are known for having a very vicious work culture. That's really, really tough on a lot of people. And it's a very intense work culture as well. So maybe they felt pressured. Who wants to lose their job at Chanel over the Christmas work period? I know I don't. So if I was there in the store, I'd be like, hey, I'm, I'm doing what my boss tells me to do. I'm not trying to get sacked here or get fired, you know? So. I think that like they were definitely reckless having the party, but the question about whether luxury bags are essential, I don't like this whole thing, you know, about who's essential, who's not essential. Everything is essential, 
okay, if it is important to you. Is luxury shopping really important, you know, in the grand scale of this virus? No, it's not. But luxury fashion, as we can see, if you're watching this video, it makes you happy. It makes you feel bright. It makes you feel feminine. It makes you feel glamorous. It makes you feel luxurious. And I think that's okay. I just think the way that Chanel managed their business and the way Chanel moves as a business is just really, really tough. It's a grueling, brutal workplace based on the reviews I've read on Glassdoor. And I'm not even surprised by that little nugget. The mirror is a tabloid, so maybe they've kind of juiced it up so it's interesting to read. But I definitely think that there's some truth there. I want to buy luxury things. I'm going to be putting orders for luxury things. We're still living in a virus. It's still a very tough time for the world. But you know, I think it's important to carry on with your life and to live life based on your current situation. If you're in a tough situation, you know, I you know, want to pray for you. I want you to be successful and I hope things get better for you. If you've been blessed where financially you don't really have issues and you can consider buying something from Chanel, I don't feel like you should feel guilty and be like, oh, it's not essential for me to buy a handbag. I think everyone should do what they can afford and everyone should do what is realistic for them. I really need to know what you guys think. Don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. Tell me what you think of Chanel and their shenanigans. I'm telling you, Chanel are always in some BS. <laughs> I know so many of you are done with them, but I just love hearing what they're up to because there's just always something out there. My cousin was like, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe what Chanel are up to. I'm like, more shenanigans, I bet. So yeah, that's the thing I wanted to share. And just super quickly as well, Chanel have announced that they're going to be doing their croisière collection <laughs> on the 4th of May. It's going to be in this town called Le Beau en Provence. I think that's the pronunciation, Le Beau en Provence. And it's going to be a physical catwalk presentation listen Chanel's tired they don't want to do any more virtual um, presentations I don't blame them at all I want to see the ladies strut down the catwalk that's what I want to see as well hopefully it'll you know follow COVID-19 um, protocols and hopefully they'll all be safe that's coming on the 4th of May that is when the catwalk show for the croisière cruise collection will be coming out I'm very curious to see what's going on with their cruise collection I actually feel like cruise collections are such a mood right now and I think that actually cruise collections are where luxury brands are way more creative with cruise collections at the moment I don't know what you guys think I'd love to know what you think I think the dual cruise collection from 20, 2021 this one that start that was like launched in November that one is beautiful and just so stunning so feminine I'm so obsessed with that one so I read that on WWD women's wear daily that's like a fashion b2b trade publication it's anyone in fashion reads that everyone in fashion and shopping reads that um i still have a subscription i bought a subscription a few years ago so i saw that on wwd i thought that would be an interesting little bookend to the end of my video i need to know what you guys think are luxury bags essential or not are chanel employees wrong for hosting a party they're freaking insane a maskless party at Chanel and Harrods. Like, have you lost your mind? Tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.